Hello and welcome to Stefan's podcast for everything Japan and Japanese myths. Today we're going to get into some Japanese news and then move on to some Japanese myths. So let's jump straight into it.、Uh, first news story I, I did a short about the Japanese bears that are demon bears in Japanese mythology. These are known as onikumas and these are giant bears that come out. And I thought, how much of a coincidence is it that the next day、uh, there's a news story about bears attacking two policemen? So, two policemen have been injured in the northeast of Japan by bears. They had to go to hospital. They weren't in life threatening condition, but they were apparently very, very badly injured. Bears in Japan are very, very dangerous. So, if you go into the Japanese wilderness, you need to be very, very careful. Especially, it seems to be in the north of Japan. Most of the stories that I've seen about bears are all in the north. And apparently, where this bear attacked them, sort of all throughout the north of Japan, there's been other stories of bears walking around, going into towns, doing all s o r t of mischief things that they shouldn't be doing because they're naughty, naughty little bears. So if you come to Japan and go in the wilderness, be very, 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 very careful.、Uh, some good news to come out of Japan is Japan has just changed or is revising its custody laws. So if you get a divorce in Japan, Up until very, very recently, if you were married to someone and you had a child, you get divorced, there would only be sing- I, f- I forget the phrase for it, but you could only have single person custody. So, nine out of ten times, the wife would have custody over the children. But now they're apparently tr- sort of trialing this for the first time that you can get shared custody, which is very good because. In Japan, there's been a lot of cases apparently of people living abroad and then moving back to Japan, getting this single custody, and then bang, the husband, nine out of ten times, the husband loses access to the children. Very, very sad story from Japan, but now shared custody. That's very nice, Japan. I'm glad you've moved forward with the times.、Uh, I did notice it wouldn't be Japan unless they did something like this, but they said at the end of five years, they're going to review the law and then possibly change it. And I was like, ah,、oh, come on, Japan. This is, can't, can't you just follow every other country? Every other country seems to be doing all right with this, but hey ho, Japan is a rule onto its own. So, we've got a couple of AI stories coming up for you here,、uh, all Japanese ones, which I thought was interesting.、Uh, SoftBank is apparently going to use AI to alter customers' voice to people in call centers. This is so that when you're angry on the phone to the person in the call center, they actually don't hear your angry voice and they hear like a mellow, calm voice. So, I just imagine it being like, ah, I hate, I hate your company. It's the worst company in the world. I want you to die. You're a terrible person. God, why won't you die? Instead of, why won't you die? Ah, slam phone down.、Um, this is interesting.、Uh, it's an interesting way to use AI. I don't think it's actually going to be good if it was. If people are calling because they're mad, surely they, they have a reason that they're mad and they're trying to stress that they're getting it across. I know when I worked in a call center, you do get a few people who ring up and are just knobs and just get very aggressive with you on the phone, even though it's not your fault. But sometimes I don't know if I like this. This is a weird, this is a weird thing, Japan.、Um, is it going to change anything? I don't know. I don't know. This is. People are going to understand the word that you're saying, right? If you say it doesn't matter how you change the volume of the voice, I hate you, your company is terrible, is still bad, right? And this is just, I feel, softening up things that don't need to be softened. What do you think? Do you think the AI call center is good? I'm not entirely sure on that one, not convinced. But next one, next AI story、uh, Japanese universities are apparently using an AI detection system. So, that they can tell if you've used AI in your application forms. So, if you've been like, oh, ChatGBT, write me a good college application form, and you just copy and paste it, bang, you're in trouble. So, you've got to be careful if you're applying to Japanese universities if they're using this. It's very, very interesting. They said that apparently it's highly accurate、um, for statements of 500 to 1000 characters, there's an error rate of apparently 5%. 
This is interesting. I've always wondered on this, how do they tell that it's, you know, chat GBT or whatever? There must be a way that they can tell, they can check for the word pattern. But if you, let's say I go onto chat GBT, I type in uh, how to apply for a college or whatever, and then I paraphrase it. Are they still going to catch that or are they not going to do it? Because I've always thought, you know, if you're doing like applications and stuff and you just copy and paste, you know, it's not always 100% right. I think ChatGPT is great for, to give you like a structure to be like, okay, this is how it looks. This looks good, but I'm going to change this and put it into my own words. This is a good start for me to go off. But yeah, you cut Japanese universities stopping it. Mm. Eh. This is a world where these chances, the ironic thing, the kids going to university using this are probably going to use AI more than anyone else. So they're actually going to need AI. So the fact that they know how to use AI to apply for university kind of shows that they're a little bit smart, a little bit ahead of the curve. I don't know. You tell me. Because most people coming out of university now definitely are going to have to know how to use AI, know different tools, how it works. I think the fact that they used AI, probably, probably not the worst thing in the world because they are going to need it. But universities are not the brightest in the world. They certainly are not. So next story. Oh, we got a fun story here. So Yamanashi Prefecture. Uh, Yamanashi is right next to Mount Fuji and in fact Mount Fuji actually runs through part of it. Mount Fuji is sort of in like the center of two or three prefectures and it splits it by a couple. And apparently 50 years ago there was one of the first UFOs to come to Japan. Apparently in Japan there are three major UFO incidents that have been reported that are kind of believed and this one, which I find strange that they believe this, but hey-ho, they say in the news story, it marks 50 years anniversary of an incident in which two elementary school children claimed to have encounters identifying flying objects and an alien. It's dubbed one of three major UFO incidents in Japan. First of all, I'm not so... not so enticed to believe elementary school students because they make up all sorts of lies who knows what there actually happened um weird story but they want to now promote this ufo story so more tourists come to yamanashi they want lots and lots of tourists to come to yamanashi yamanashi is also a very beautiful place i have been there probably one of the nicest views in japan if you go because it's just mountainside all around. When the sun sets, it's beautiful. You can see Mount Fuji in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. If I was trying to promote Japan and Yamanashi, probably wouldn't use UFO stories. But hey-ho, Japan, you do what you want. You sometimes don't make sense even to me after being here. So, oh, big Otani, sh Otani Shohei. Otani Shohei? Otani Shohei? Shohei Otani. I can't even say his name right. Shohan Otani. Otani Shohei. Otani Shohei. The baseball player. Shohei Otane. Shohei Otane? Shohei Otane. Yes, confirmed by a Japanese person. Corrected. Um, yeah, he has been given his own day in Los Angeles. May 17th for the next for the next decade is going to be known as Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani Day in Los Angeles County. I don't know what that gets him, but apparently it's a big day for him. It's his own day. I wonder what he gets. Does he get to go into Los Angeles and just do whatever he wants for that day? Do you get a medal? I can see in the photo here, he's got a very nice plaque that has been very well calligraphied on it. It looks very, very beautiful. And yeah, good job for him. I mean, he's earning 70 million a year and now he gets his own day. That is very, very, very nice. I hope he doesn't get injured. Apparently, he's got a high injury rate. But baseball, I hear, coming from the UK, you know, the baseball to us is completely just nothing. We don't know anything about it. Um, in fact, I didn't even know really the rules of baseball before coming to Japan. So when I found out that apparently in the baseball season, they have over like 100 games a year, I thought that was crazy. I thought the Premier League schedule was too much but that is even worse baseball wow and that's a long that's a long game right it's longer than football Oof, no thanks no thanks 
No, thank you. I'll stick to cricket. Even better. We don't play that many games. Certainly not. Our games might last for five days, but we ain't playing 130 or 40, however many games they play in a season. Too much. Too, too much. And speaking of too much, here is something that's absolutely disgusting, Japan. Why on God's green earth would you do this? So, Baskin Robbins Japan has created a four cheese pizza ice cream. That's right, you can now have the taste of a four cheese pizza in an ice cream. Why anyone would want to do that, I don't know. This is disgusting and needs to be set on fire. God, some people. Would you order a four cheese ice cream? That Like two things that should never go together are ice cream and cheese. They should never be mixed. They should be left alone. Don't touch it. But uh, yeah, apparently you can get it if you come to Japan now. It's in Baskin Robbins. Go and enjoy it. There is, there is a diagram here. The cheese that they have is, of the four cheese taste, they have Cambert, Gouda, Gorgonzola, and cream de fromigo. I'm not a big cheese fan. Cream de fromigo. Sounds disgusting. Why anyone would want to eat a cheese ice cream? I don't know. Of all the flavors you can get, mint chocolate chip, fantastic tasting ice cream. Love that. Chocolate, strawberry, mango sorbet. Ah, oh, and you want to go and get cheese? There's some wrongins out there. There are some wrongins. Oh, and speaking of wrongins, that actually leads me to my great story, or not a great story, a terrible news story that's come out of Japan. I hope this guy, if true, these are allegations at the moment, but if true, I hope this guy fries. Uh, man arrested for injuring girlfriend's daughter by putting her in a washing machine. A 30-year-old man has been arrested in e in one of the prefectures in Japan, Ibrakai, Ibraki, Ibrakai, 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 Ibraki. Ibaragi. Ibaragi, yes. Ibaragi prefecture for apparently putting his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter in a washing machine and switching it on. This guy is awful and needs to fry if it's true. That is disgusting. Why anyone would do that, I don't know. But, ugh, God, yeah. Awful, awful story. Why Japan, why? But, not all Japan people do that, obviously, but there we go. Horrible, horrible stuff. Um, next one to come out of Japan. Oh, is our final news story, and... Speaking about wrongins, we've got a prison in Japan that hosts the most foreign prisoners is apparently changing the way it operates because of dealing with so many foreign people. Um, things that they said, that the Japanese said, they don't want to change the prisons too much. Obviously, they're not like accommodating around foreigners, but they've had to make certain changes. And these are some of them. They're having apparently more language, more more language speaking offices in there to try and so that they can understand what's going on apparently in just one prison they have 353 foreign prisoners uh with representing 58 nationalities and speaking 52 languages apparently chinese nationals make up the largest proportion of this almost 20 percent and then followed by vietnamese prisoners this prison is also, I don't know if you saw this news story a couple of years ago about uh, Mitchell Taylor, the former Green Beret who helped the Japanese car, car the Japanese, um, like, the Japanese, what do you say, car, cartel, not cartel man, but biz, big businessman. He helped this big businessman escape from Japan and he was in big trouble. He was accused of strangling someone to death and that... He is apparently in that prison. So very, very interesting stuff. The ways that they're doing it as well, they're offering uh, different food if you come to Japan, if they have halal or vegetarian meals. And apparently they're even replacing cooked rice with bread. And let me tell you, if you come to Japan, you are going to eat a bucket full of rice. So that is actually very nice for them. I'm looking at one of their prison cells here. They've got a picture of the prison cell. Not too bad, actually. Um, better than some ALT accommodation, I'll tell you. No, I'm joking. It, it's uh, I don't know. I've not I've not seen some of the ALT accommodation. I can only imagine how bad some of it is. But um, pretty standard. I'm looking here at a picture of a single bed. They've got a TV in the room, which is surprising. They've got a little desk. They've got a nice toilet, um, and they also have a sink. 
nothing too out of the world. I'm very surprised in a Japanese prison to see a TV. That was a big surprise when I saw that. But hey ho, maybe that's something for the prisoners.、Uh, I've also got a picture of the food here. Looks pretty good as well.、So、it's very similar to、um, Kushoku. Very, very similar to it, the meals. And I certainly say I'll eat. I'll eat it. Doesn't look too bad. I'll eat that. Very good. Nom, 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 nom. And that is the end of our news stories. So I'm going to jump into the Japanese myths for today. So, our deep dive of a Japanese myth is the Gasha Dokoro. This is a giant, giant skeleton that forms when lots of people have been killed or murdered in one area and something forms them together. They, they come together and they form this giant 10 meter tall skeleton, which apparently. Is very, very sneaky and is extremely, extremely dangerous. In the story, this skeleton is able to wander around at night, normally about 2 a.m., and will sneak up on people walking home by themselves. It will then grab them and then bite their heads off and then kill them. These apparently come from sort of vengeance spirits. So if there's been, let's say, a war or something, and then there's just bodies laying on the ground, or someone has been ambushed without them knowing, bodies on the ground, these creatures will form and come out of them. They're very, very dangerous.、Um, apparently, the name that it comes from means rattling skeleton in Japanese. And this comes from the noise of like ch- chattering teeth, like. Gash, 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 gash. So, yeah, that's the deep dive into that.、Um, this story apparently comes from in the Edo period. There was a warring samurai clan, and a huge amount of numbers were killed. and There was a daughter of the leader of the samurai clan. She was apparently a powerful sorceress, and she summoned this creature to come out of the bodies from the dead samurai. And then this This skeleton creature went to attack the people that killed him. Very, very cool story. I recommend you give this a read. This is the Ga Sha Do Koro. My Japanese is absolutely awful.、Um, apparently, it has been seen in a lot of animes. You've seen very similar things to this. Its painting is very, very beautiful and very, very famous. You may have even seen it. I might even try and put it on the screen here.、Um, and. It's a very cool, very cool myth. Very, very cool myth. And that is going to be the podcast for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have an absolutely fantastic time. I will be back in the next couple of days and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.